What's up, it's your boy Remus. And if you want a better understanding of the dynamic between the man and the woman and um, you know sexual behavior or dating and all, and all of that stuff, this is the video for you because I'm gonna talk about what I learned from this book, The Mate and Mind. And the topic of today's video is the reason why thin waists are more attractive. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I was hanging out with someone the other day and um, she was like, oh, hold on, hold on, I gotta, you know, give me a sec, I gotta take this off. And she just takes off her waist trainer, <laughs> right? She's like, yeah, I've been wearing this for a couple hours, but I gotta take it off now, right? And I said to her, I said, do you even know the reason why you want to wear that? She was like, mm, for a thinner waist. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, that's obvious. Why, why do you even want a thinner waist? And I was explaining it to her, you know, with stuff I learned from this book. And the reason why someone would want a thinner waist is because subconsciously what you're doing is you're communicating that you're, you're healthy because um, someone with a bad hip to waist ratio is more likely to have, um, I think what it was is you're more likely to have, you're, you're susceptible to health diseases or heart diseases and you're less likely to give birth to healthy kids. So it's funny because this is all subconscious and people don't know this, but you're, what you're doing when you're getting a, a healthier waist or a better hip to waist ratio, right? Like an hourglass figure. You're commu communicating to the man, hey, I can give you, you know, more healthy kids. Like if it's the other way, you're communicating to him, hey, I'm not gonna give you healthy kids. Um, and in, in the research, what they found is that it doesn't even matter about the, the size of the person. Like you could be big or you could be small, but what was seen as desirable by men is like the, the hourglass figure, like the hip to waist ratio as, a, as opposed to the hip and waist size. This stuff is interesting because it, it, it allows you to know that people are chatting shit when they say that Beauty doesn't exist. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Doesn't even matter. When girls say, ah, oh, well, I'm not even getting myself done for men. You're not specifically doing it for men, but you are doing it because of men. That's what men like. So that's the reason you're doing it. You're doing it to make yourself feel good, but it only makes you feel good for that reason. So yeah, that's one, uh, one interesting thing that I learned in this book. And if you're on this channel, I would definitely encourage you you know, to read stuff like this because you gotta arm yourself with knowledge. You know, people say knowledge is power. That's not exactly true, but it is. it does make you more um, confident because you just know what the hell is going on. You know why this person's doing that and why that person is doing this. And you can arm yourself against people's <laughs> manipulations and stuff anyway. So if you like this video, check out the next one. I'm gonna be doing one more video on this particular book, what I've learned from this book. Um, and maybe you'll find it interesting. So peace, see you in the next one.